little humor to decor today. I described our first project as fun, quirky, and cheeky. Words that also describe designer Leanne Allaire Perot. Come on in here, LA. A little quirky, a little cheeky. <laughs> and probably the only one on the show that could pull this off. So <laughs> we're talking about trompe l'oeil. Yes, okay? I love the way you say it. Trompe l'oeil. Yeah. Yeah. See, I say it, it just like sounds <laughs> not so good. It's always a fun trick you can almost play visually to the eye. So exactly. why don't we start by explaining exactly what it is? Well, trompe l'oeil, the translation is to deceive the eye. Uh -huh. And essentially when we think about many generations, beyond generations, decades past, Really, the idea was to create the visual of being somewhere that you are not. Right. And it had a lot of realistic properties to it. So I actually have some images yes. that really speak to this wall treatment. Um, and these are all Ruth Baker design pieces. And in particular, really, it creates that sense of imagine, imagination come yes. to life within your space. So you're in your workspace, but oh, the Alps. Right. Right? <laughs> so you can have this beautiful scene happening in front of you or behind you that isn't real but looks very realistic. Right. I remember when I was younger I was in a restaurant and they had a door painted and it looked like you were going to the secret garden and it was oh. just to the bathroom. <laughs> but, that you know, cool. it, it's that idea. It, yes. it's, it's also the ability to take something inanimate yes. and create this almost three-dimensional space to it even though it's just 2D. So right. it's super witty. As you exactly said, it's very quirky and of course I took my own interpretation yes. of this whole idea and it, my whole concept really came from my life motto that is fake it till you make it fake it till you make and it and i figure baby. why not fake it and then just make it yes. essentially with and this that's concept what you've done. and i think it's so it's so cute it's whimsical so take a look yes. at the wall that uh, la has created so you've got the gorgeous uh, little console there you've got your vases right Those all of are my so antiques cute. my antique your collectibles antiques, they yes. are very expensive <laughs> your your light the fixtures lights. so this is i think one of the perfect examples of taking a white blank space. Yes. I was literally given a blank canvas wall to work with. I I literally used two pieces of MDF to make everything outside of the lampshades yeah. and was able to create this quirky, almost cartoon-like space that still has some interesting detail. So what I love most about this is you might not have it in, in the budget right now to go out and buy an antique French cabriolet console, right. but why not paint your own until that budget <laughs> maybe allows and just have a cheekiness about it. Right. And for something like this, I literally just built an MDF box primed and painted it, and then painted this treatment on the front. Amazing. So literally the cost of that whole console table was probably $35, <gasps> I think. Versus so thousands and thousands for yes. the real thing, And right? let's be honest, it's clearly not the real thing, but if you can't afford the real thing, you might as, have, might as well have some fun with it. That's and right. have that cheeky, uh, cheeky little touch in your space. This is actually, this is a standout in decor all on its own. Exactly. So if you're not getting the real antique piece, you can go this route and this makes a humongous statement. How did you make everything? So everything was so simple. So this is MDF. And when I went hunting at the home improvement store for material that I was gonna use, I looked for the most affordable option and mm -hmm. was looking at plywood. The, at the end of the day, you want something that's really nice and smooth to work with. Right. I opted personally, especially when you're working with furniture, to go with a bit of a thicker material. So this is three quarter inch, but it's really smooth and this actually sands down really nice, even though it is a fiber board, a pressed fiber board, okay. is a really great and affordable product to be working with. Now, with something like the console table, take advantage of the home, home improvement store's saw and station in store. Mm -hmm. And this was literally four pieces that they cut for me and I walked away with table in hand that I just had to assemble like a puzzle nice. at home, which was really great. So go in with your measurements. Exactly. Go in with your measurements mm -hmm. for sure. And that's the great thing that you can customize this to be as big, small, or narrow as you want. This is only, the one that I built is only 10 inches deep. So if you've got that little spot that you, you just need to fill with a ledge, yes. why not take the extra step and have some fun with it? That's perfect. For sure. So essentially all I've done is constructed boxes out of the MDF. So for making the vases, it's a really simple construction of just cutting your pieces now, I didn't even bother mitering. I like to take the simple, Super simple, simple st skip the extra stages and the extra tools required. So I've just used a combination of wood glue. And if you're using a, if you're making a larger piece such as the console table, think about if you don't own one, maybe renting a pin nailer. This fires in the tiniest little pins just to hold the glue in place while it's drawing oh. to give a larger piece stability. Okay. I'll be honest, with something this small, wood glue and some clamps as it's drawing will do the trick. You're not okay. gonna 
yeah. have some heavy duty use with these vases. Yeah. Now you can opt to actually put a base in them, one small extra step. With these ones, uh, with the ginger jar, I actually just made it hollow on the bottom, which is easy, but you could also just slide them right over top of an existing vase as well so that you can plant flowers like my second one there. That's cute. Which makes it really simple That's also. That's a great idea. Simple. How long does that take to dry uh, Different wood properly? glues, different times. Like, okay. I'd want to leave it overnight. Got it. I definitely would leave it overnight mm -hmm. before you start really moving it around. So then, prime and paint. Yes. And now, for those of you who might be looking at this project and say, I am no artiste. Yeah. This is not something that I would ever attempt. I did freehand the projects that I did, but that was a lot of, like, stepping back. You're phenomenal. And it, it takes some time to do. She's but, good. Well, she's well, an artist. <laughs> it's true. That's very good. It, it allows you for the creative type. It does allow you for your, for your furniture to be your blank canvas as yes. well. But I understand a lot of people that would turn them off of this project. So I'm I want to make life simple. Yeah, make so it easy. So what you're going to do is go online and clip art, for example. You can download a bunch of royalty-free clip art images mm -hmm. that are basically already line drawn for you. <laughs> so this is super simple. And the nice thing about this is you can even work within, you can let the creative ability flow within the image and kind of freehand some detail or customize if you yep. want, put um, maybe a letter on there as like an insignia Ooh, type of thing. So you can really, it. exactly, monogram. Thank you, that mm -hmm. is the word I was looking for. <laughs> you got me. I got you, girl. So essentially all that you need to do is cut out your piece, and this makes it easier. If you cut it out first and just trace the image on, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna peel this off and just fill in, if, if I can peel, fill in with paint. So this gives you your base. Oh, nice. And then so easy, and then last but not least, you take some transfer paper, yep. so graphite transfer paper, and if I put this around the back, you can see how once that gets stuck on, you would do this laying flat, you draw the detail with a pencil, and it and gives it you all the detail, and then you just use a paint pen Ooh, to like. fill it in. And you know what's been driving me nuts? What? This needs a little bit of light rays in the back here. She's so brave. So there you go, she just see the paint pen. The wall. Paint pen Good just to you. give a little bit of detail. I Simple. love this, and I love this as a sort of a decor solution exactly. to being creative on a budget. Exactly.